lobbying regulators not so much to change the law, but to clarify it, like to tell us what it is that we need to do so that someone doesn't come down two years later and say, hey, what you were doing completely in the open and completely transparently for the last four years was illegal from day one and you should have known that. And we're like, we meet with you like every week about what we're doing and now you're telling us we should have realized four years ago that it was fundamentally and completely illegal? Like that doesn't make any sense. And so you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. Give a type of money that can only be spent for a specific number of reasons. And so I'm worried about that state control or whatever. But like in this particular uh, narrow use case, you want to give uh, checks to individuals to get the economy moving again. Yeah. So if you think of programmable money that expires if you don't spend it. So we will destroy, unfortunately, a lot of employment. Uh, just think of uh, self-guided cars uh, um, and all the drivers losing their jobs. L let's look at the bank employees and so on. If you're left behind, you're facing something far worse, which is to be completely irrelevant. They won't even need you as a serf or as a slave. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly... We're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Auto Book. The New Road Auto book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to break us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids books. It's time to get re-educated. And also, much love to those who've donated to the Cash Shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. Also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We had Bitcoin and crypto get a great pump for the month. Nobody can complain. But we know who we need to thank. And that's right, the Fed. Over $200 billion comes into the market in just a few days. And we know what that's going to cause. People are going to chase money, chase the highs, and we know what the Fed like to do. They're going to pull out because they're going to take your money, leaving you left with the bag. Guys, we've seen this plenty of times. But we had Bitcoin touch 21000 after pulling back 
and we had all coins move right along with Bitcoin. So normally we'll see Bitcoin make a strong move and then Ethereum and the rest of the altcoins DeFi follows. But this time all the cryptos moved up at the same time. Over $300 million liquidated. So the bears are sitting on the sideline. And we had the market cap touch $1 trillion. Now guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. And it will clearly show you along with some other events on why we pump. We know that Hong Kong launched a Bitcoin futures ETF. And then also, guys, we had yield rates being pushed down. And we can clearly see the manipulation. And we can clearly see the inverted yield curve, which is 100% correct when it comes to a crash. We know the crash is coming. And we also have the dollar pulling back, which we know is great for the emerging markets, the stocks, the cryptos, and then also commodities. And guys, we can clearly see we have volume back in the market. And we're going to see that volume disappear in the next few days. And I'm going to go over the reason why. And then, of course, guys, we have Tether, USDC, and then we have the Fed. The Fed repo is still at about $2.1 trillion. We know the central banks are raising rates and running off the balance sheet. And we know why. Do not keep your eye off the fourth industrial revolution. They have to destroy this legacy market in order to bring in the fourth industrial revolution. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And we know they're only one crisis away. And a lot of you ask me, how did I know about the debt crisis? Because I understand the Hegelian dialectic. We have Janet Yellen, which I told you Janet Yellen and Gary Gensler was chess pieces to the NWO when they were put in place. Now we have Janet Yellen comes out and says the U.S. will hit debt limit on Thursday, January the 19th. And she announces this on Friday the 13th. And someone put that in my comments on the video I did yesterday. And this was a letter that she wrote up. So guys, we know the NWO chooses dates for a reason. Don't forget to watch the video I did last night. And on Thursday, I went over 11-11 when the actual flights were all canceled. And we haven't had that happen since 9-11. And then plus Friday the 13th was coming up. And guys, this is all spiritual meaning. But guys, they'll be able to ride this debt crisis for the next six to eight months. And remember, the NWO just need a distraction. Remember, the masses are going to be distracted because they're going to have money. They have income taxes coming up. So from February to June, they're going to be fine. But those who follow politics, they'll get caught up in the magic trick. And whether the debt crisis gets approved or not, this is going to lead up to the main crisis that's going to open the door for the fourth industrial revolution. Remember, guys, they want to flip the switch in 2025. China is going to be flipping the switch in 2024. So remember, these corporations get this 15% tax, plus we have higher interest rates. So when they go back to restructure their debt, that means they're going to lay off even more people. And remember, the NWO caused the problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And we know the solution was already ready 10 years ago. The robots, algorithms, and drones paying each other with crypto. And the sheep going inside the metaverse, getting that free universal basic income. Being told what, where, and when, and how to buy. And they have three to six months to spend it. Or a poof, it's gone. Now, guys, don't forget about Grayscale sitting at about $17.28 billion, And we had Grayscale files brief an ETF suit against the SEC. Oral arguments may come within months. And, guys, we know regulation is knocking at the door. So we know once we get regulation, we'll get the spot Bitcoin ETF. And we know once we get that spot Bitcoin ETF, that's going to stabilize the price and cut out the volatility. Right now, majority of the ETFs are futures ETFs where they're just betting on the price. So they're making money whether it goes up or down. And we know in the casino, the house always wins. And who is the house? That's right, the Fed. 
And last night in my video, like I stated, make sure you go watch it. We had a former member of the SEC admitted Gemini and Genesis was under investigation for a year. So this clearly shows you that they were waiting for the FTX collapse. And now that we have the Ripple XRP SEC case coming to an end, we know the SEC is undefeated. So either Ripple is not going to be allowed in the United States or they're just going to pay a fine. But we clearly know that XRP was being sold for over six years before the SEC even did anything. And we heard that from David Swartz, that Ripple was working with the SEC, and now all of a sudden, they're doing something incorrectly. And we know that Ripple was fined a long time ago when it was Ripple Lab. So the SEC had plenty of time to charge them, fine them, whatever they wanted to do to protect the U.S. customers. They chose not to, and we know why. Gary Gensler is simply there to kick the regulation can down the road. And Jay Clayton helped him do it. Remember, guys, your life is an illusion and TV is your reality. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have Polygon take zero knowledge rollups to the final test net to gauge the performance of a ZK EVM ahead of eventual main net integration. And lastly, guys, we have Scar Mochi changes tune on FTX says it's clear now that there was fraud. And guys, remember, Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang supposedly has already pled guilty. But guys, he's changing his tune because the bank man is sitting in his mansion on his Xbox and PlayStation working on derivatives. When the FTX situation first blew up, the media made the bank man seem like he's the golden boy. All these billion-dollar companies that were invested, they said, oh, we're not worried about the money. It was just a small amount we're just going to write off. You're talking about millions and hundreds of millions of dollars that they took as a write-off, not even trying to press charges. And that should let you know this was part of a bigger plan. The main one was derivatives, and the other one was to take your money. And remember, the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the New Road Order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys. Make sure you go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chips, out, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the Sierra, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. 
it's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.